They are most commonly used instrument for solar irradiance measurements. The wavelength of the pyranometer is between 300 to 3000 nanometers, basically from the UV light to the infrared radiation, which is the uh, wavelength with the, band, the bandwidth which is effective and relevant to the PV industry. Both of them have silicon photodiodes which are used as sensors. The pyranometers do not require much, much maintenance. They are designed for a long life. They don't have movable things. And that's how a, a pyranometer looks like. It's a device that has a dome. Through the dome, we can see hemispherical view of the whole sky. We place that particular device and we can see the radiation coming from where I'm looking at. Again, in order to measure the diffusion, I put a shadow on the center and light will come out from all around is basically the diffused light. And if I take out the, the, the shadow, I'll look at this as a total diffused light and also direct light. But that's how it looks 